Good day everyone! It's me again, Ma'am Lara. The topic for this day is about the area of composite figures. Objectives. Find the area of composite figures formed by any two or more of the following. Triangle, square, rectangle, circle, and semicircle. Solve routine and non-routine problems involving area of composite figures formed by any two or more of the following. Triangle, square, rectangle, circle, and semicircle. Before we go to our lesson, let us define first area and composite figure. Area is the number of square units needed to cover the surface of a plane figure. Example, I have here a rectangle whose measure is 5 by 4 centimeters. Since the region is filled with 20 square centimeters, its area is 20 square centimeters. The number of square units is 5 times 4 is equal to 20. Composite figure is a two-dimensional figure made up of basic two-dimensional shapes, such as triangles, squares, rectangles, circles, semicircles, etc. In this figure, makikita nyo na mayroong triangle and rectangle. Sa figure na ito naman, may tatlong rectangle. These are the examples of a composite figure. I have here a situation. Levy wants to buy a carpet in his living room and hallway. What is the total area of carpet that he needs? Let us analyze and identify the figures. Meron tayong dalawang rectangle based sa ating floor plan. Now, let us find the area of the two rectangles. Let us review first the area formula. The formula to find the area of rectangle is length times width. Remember, length pertains to the longest side of the rectangle while width is the shorter side. Step 1 is to find the area of rectangle A. The formula is length times width. A equals 8 meters times 6 meters. 8 times 6 is equal to 48. Meters times meters is equal to square meters. A is equal to 48 square meters. The area for rectangle A or the living room is 48 square meters. Next step. Step 2. Find the area of rectangle B. Rectangle B or the hallway. A equals 5 meters times 3 meters. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. Meters times meters is equal to square meters. The area for rectangle B or the hallway is equal to 15 square meters. Step 3. To get the total area of the floor, add the area of rectangle A, the living room, and rectangle B, the hallway. 48 square meters plus 15 square meters is equal to 63 square meters. Levy needs 63 square meters of carpet for his hallway and living room. Another example, find the area of the composite figure below. Use pi equals 3.14. Kapag hinati natin ang figure sa dalawa, meron tayong square and semicircle. Semi means half. Step 1. Find the area of square. The formula to find the area of square is side times side or side squared. 15 centimeters times 15 centimeters. 15 times 15 is equal to 225. Centimeters times centimeters is equal to square centimeters. The area of the square is 225 square centimeters. Step 2. Find the area of semicircle. Semi means half. Ang gagamitin nating formula is 1 half pi r squared. Kailangan nating lagyan ng 1 half ang formula ng area na circle dahil semicircle ang ating given. 1 half times pi times radius squared. 1 half times 3.14 times 7.14 5 squared. Saan ko nakuha ang value ng pi? 
Since pi is a mathematical constant whose value is fixed, fixed ang value ng pi which is 3.14. How about 7.5? Sa given, meron tayong diameter na 15 centimeters. The radius is half the distance from one side of a circle to the other. And so, it is half of the diameter. Kaya siya naging 7.5. Unahin natin ang 7.5 squared. 7.5 times 7.5 is equal to 56.25. 3.14 times 56.25 is equal to 176.625. 176.625 times 1 half is equal to 88.3125 or 88.31. The area for the semicircle is 88.31 square centimeters. Step 3. Step 3 is to add the area of square and the area of semicircle to find the area of the given figure. 225 square centimeters plus 88.31 square centimeters is equal to 313.31 square centimeters centimeters. The area of the composite figure is 313 and 31 hundreds square centimeters. Another example, find the area of the shaded region. Use pi equals 3.14. This time, yung shaded region ang kailangan nating hanapan ng area. So, based sa ating figure, meron tayong circle sa loob ng triangle. Let us find the area of the triangle and circle. Step 1. Find the area of triangle. The formula is base times height divided by 2. Base is the bottom part which the figure rests or is supported. 14 centimeters times 12 centimeters is equal to 168 square centimeters. 168 square centimeters divided by 2 is equal to 84 square centimeters. So, that's the area for the triangle. Next, step 2 is to find the area of circle. The formula is pi times radius times radius or pi r squared. 3.14 times 4 centimeters times 4 centimeters. 4 times 4 is 16 square centimeters times 3.14. The area of the circle is 50 and 24 hundreds square centimeters. Step 3. Subtract the area of triangle and area of circle to find the area of the shaded region. Since ang kailangan lang natin ay yung part na shaded, isasubtract natin ang area ng dalawang figure. 84 square centimeters minus 50.24 square centimeters is equal to 33.76 square centimeters. The area of the shaded part is 33 and 76 hundreds square centimeters. Last example, a swimming pool 44 meters long and 17 meters wide has a footpath of 2 meters surrounding it. What is the total area? Of the foot path. Let us analyze the problem. Step 1. Understand the problem. What is being asked? The total area of the foot path. What are the given? The swimming pool measures 44 meters long, that's the length, and 17 meters wide, that's the width. The foot path around the swimming pool measures 2 meters. Step 2. Planning. How are we going to solve the problem? First is to draw the figure of the swimming pool. Para ma-visualize natin ang figure na kailangan natin para ma-solve ang problema. Then, solve the area of the swimming pool and the area of the swimming pool surrounded by foot path. Step 1. Find the area of the swimming pool. The length is 44 meters and the width is 17 meters. 44 meters times 17 meters is equal to 748 square meters. 
Step 2. Find the area of the swimming pool surrounded by a footpath. 44 meters plus 2 meters plus 2 meters times 17 meters plus 2 meters plus 2 meters. 48 meters times 21 meters is equal to 1,008 square meters. Step 3. To find the area of the footpath, subtract the area of the swimming pool from the area of the swimming pool surrounded by a footpath. 1,008 square meters minus 748 square meters is equal to 260 square meters. The area of the footpath is 260 square meters. Always remember, add love, subtract hate, multiply success, prepare to divide, and conquer. Enjoy math, enjoy life! God bless and stay safe. See you on my next video. Bye!